Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the George Downing Cup final for the academic year 2015-2016, semester one. It's finals day, it's going to be great. We've got two worthy finalists, if Zach ever makes it into the screen. Um, we've got Gavin Harkness. It's not Adam Grant. And we've got Zach Bedford. <laughs> and our referee is going to be Adam Grant. It's a first to eight final, best of 15. It's so he can attend the finals. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's nothing more to be said. Guys, have a good game. We're going to lag to get going and then we'll start playing the match. Good luck to everyone. <coughs> Adam, do you want a stop clock? Um, All right, no. Good lag. Freddy, can you get me a beverage? Yeah, yeah, I'm capable of that. I'll give you the money. Yeah. Give me all your money. That was a good line, by the way. Yeah, it was a good line. You might have wired it on your camera. <laughs> Slave labour already. Grant is into it. Tense. Uh, the, the video is just being recorded, Zaid. There's not the internet for it here. But uh, you'll notice the, the sound quality is a good deal better. I purchased a new mic. It's awesome. <laughs> but I'll have you guys know that there's a little social social media feed at the bottom left where your chat into the uh, mixer is being put up on the screen. So feel free to put your comments there, Zaid and Rob, and the three others. I don't know who they are. But we'll uh, we'll find out. So you're just filming it, not mm. just streaming. Yeah, no internet for it. Oh. That's a shame. <laughs> Cue ball down. Oh, we go. I the color is better in this. Good for a possible clearance here. We'll see. Mm. Oh, Freddie comes back with a pint. Excellent. Look at that clock transition. We've got many other transitions here. Fleming now has a pint of tent. You can now expect the commentary to get much juicy. What, what do we think Wade is? Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. it's everything I wanted it to be more. <laughs> Gaps red. Thanks. Okay. Freddie and Fleming <coughs> in the commentary booth. All the Fs. Well, Fleming, I'd like to say well done on another wonderful organisation of the uh, broadcasting feed for this. For this match, well, on Friday, it's just start of the technical difficulties are yet to begin, especially when I, especially when I, uh, I, I start playing, it's all going to go wrong. <laughs> sure hope so. <laughs> We've got five listeners. Hmm. Please comment in the chat. You'll appear on the video. Say hi, mom. <laughs> Is he going to stun into this? He's, oh. Wow. I don't think he wanted that result because I can see from through the perspective of the booth that he can see that. <laughs> Rob, that's brilliant. You never cease to amaze us with your wonderful comedy. This is tricky. 
I've got a thing where we can draw on the screen. Yeah, you do have the whiteboard. This mouse and just click. Oh, okay. And then it's and escape. It's escape. Do you want if you you could not? Thirty seconds. If you want a different color, I can give you that. I don't want that. <laughs> Somewhere. Yep. He's just making you know sure. Boy, uh, doing what doesn't 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 yeah. He is. I think Gav over had that. Well, today the referee has um, gone for a um, another watch to so do the timing, which is a traditional change uh, from the iPhone or at the iPad, as I used in one of the 18 games this season. Mm. I've gotten better, I think. Mm. Yeah, he's went for 20 seconds in anyway. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't do it at that London Lynx game, because uh, uh, we would have been very uh, You know what, it's a decent way, but I think the Reds was a one. Mm. But the angle is too great to hold for the other Red. Mm. And Zach like gets put ball in this frame, uh, in this match. It's only the first frame, so we'll look more but... I think it is because he has taken off his wonderful burgundy uh, kind of was it a waistcoat or a jacket? This is burgundy where he yeah, the source of his pain. The velvet jacket. I mean, if I wore that all the time, I'd feel invincible too. <laughs> if you can pull off burgundy, you can pull off anything. No, it's true. I think you can pull anything, but sadly, he has a girlfriend. Uh, oh, yeah, all, the, all right. Ice peasants on the radio. Um, so. Zach currently has two balls at <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Zach currently has two yeah. balls at the top of the table, uh, three around the centre of which is covering Gav's red to all but one of the corners. Gav has control of another corner. Um, Zach has one ball in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'd say that although Gav is potentially close to clearing the frame, Zach, since it's his turn, has absolute control. I could easily get some snickers here. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's different having to refine your commentary to a radio style. Um, <laughs> Zach won the lag. Who's Harpinger of Doom? It doesn't matter. Uh, who won the lag? Uh, Zach won the lag. Zach won the lag. That's a good snooker. Yep, that is oh, an excellent snooker. Yeah, that is a total snooker. He even developed his. He, he basically, Zach developed the ball on the side, got a snooker. Win win. Wait. Wait a if all the people at home need to know is that Zach hasn't put a ball yet. Gav has two reds left. He's at currently totaled. The Zach's balls are by no means clear of water. Gav gets out of that total snooker. And as I say that, the yellow sun becomes a bit more open. And that's two for Zach. No, no, no. Well, yeah, Gav yeah, 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 yeah. But Zach yeah. has three yellows on the top cushion, which is really, really annoying. Calling it Harbinger of Doom is Heather. Oh, hi Heather, how are you? I'm calling it, I'm not entirely sure. I always remember when um, Heather first added me on Snapchat. Um, and her Snapchat name was Emma Sada? Emma Sada? I didn't have a clue who it was. I was very scared and freaked out. Ooh, and that's how she didn't tell me for the longest time. Um, so, Zach with there with the snooker, and he has left the red to the bottom left bag open. Uh, these could be done. No, I don't have the data for that. I'm using data anyway. Thirty seconds. Take the time on the shot. You know, it's a crucial way to start. Yeah, at least good one. That's a good shot. White is around the bottom cushion. Maybe Zach exactly tries to get the yellow to the middle, which is what he's going to go for. And he misses it. But he hasn't left Gav. Although these two reds are now open, so Zach's going to have to be wary. Uh, he hasn't actually left Gav a shot on this occasion, so. He expects a bit more tactical play. But Zach's yellow is by no means, by no means in the position to be cleared. Although I've said that before on the boys and surprised me in many ways. Zach can do things that mere mortals 
just don't think possible. Like um, trying to pull off a burgundy velvet jacket. Uh, in the meantime, Gather's total Zach. Um, it's a pretty good title as well. The white is shown from right in behind the red. Mm. So he's going to have to do something pretty special. And he's going to pull that. And he's managed to yes. at least at least hit it. Like, he's managed to many options. Yeah. He's he managed to miss. He's managed to miss all the yellows. I think it's a foul snooker. I don't think Gav can see both sides of any of those balls. Okay, okay guys, it's super crude, but and I'm using all my data. But I've posted. I'll be posting threads of pictures of the table throughout the day. Here's the sort of situation we see ourselves in, and that's pretty representative of what's going on. Not um, um, kick on the um, on the finals day page, so that gives people an idea on what they can see. But um, finals day page could be a good. Oh, place the event there. page. Yeah. Is it, uh, All right, Gav is nominating yellow, and that is going to leave him open to finish off these reds. Yeah, we'll be putting on the final state event page. Good job. Next pot down there. This looks like a potential easy corner. He's a media formality. It's like he's yet to put a ball, but don't underestimate him. Yeah, I think he's just nervous. His age, we don't underestimate your imagination. We know you've got wonderful imagination. That looks to be a stun, stun, stun finish for Gav here. I think so. We'll be taking a back the middle bag. Oh yeah, every day. Every day. Oh, I love the middle bag. What we do it's my favourite pocket. It's his favourite pocket. <laughs> the right middle, but not the left middle. I don't know what to say. I've had one eighth of a pint. Actually. Oh, I've got through that pretty quickly. Strongbow Dark Fruit, ladies and gentlemen. The bell tolls for this first frame. <laughs> Strongbow Dark Fruit yeah. is the juice of geniuses. <coughs> or genius eye. Would, would that be a plural? Nah, geniuses. Genius eye. Like oct- Genio. You wouldn't say octopuses, would you? Say octopi. Sure. Like genii. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you can, right. You've got better angle, does it? It's it does, but you'd never take it that way. Okay. Gav is on the back. There are six yellows left on the table. It's tight. Three of them are on a cushion. What? Zach has not got any of them yet. Gav is on the back. He edges it. And he gets it to the middle. One nil. Gav in the heart. The score is one. We must remember, Freddy, that we have um, camera angles. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Guys, you can shoot. Right, okay, so no one can see this yet because, um... Shift in. Okay, mm. uh, cheers, oh, Cheers yeah. to a good final stuff. Cheers. Right, there we go. My hair isn't that bad. My hair's pretty bad. But, um... So people can't see this because they're listening on radio, but yeah. we have now got a camera angle which gives a picture of me and Fleming in the commentary booth. Which is great. Time. It's what everyone wants to see. It's an actual booth this time. We've got a Perspex screen to, to muffle. Oh, we have yeah. a screen to show that. If I reflect off that... That's a terrible idea. just about see... Oh, hold on. No, no. <laughs> Perspex. If you get your phone out with a camera... Oh, no, my phone's over there. There's a good screen here. Yeah. But anyway, that All was right. it. We need to quickly get back to the, get back oh, to the table. Don't ask back. I think that I think that I think <coughs> if, if, if Zach had not missed a snooker, he's actually fairly in control there. Yeah, I think that's very nice. Now we should make use of uh, Jesus Cam a bit more. Now Jesus Cam was brought into action. It's a huge break, by the way. It's a massive break. It's huge and yet not huge at the same time. It's one one red went, and one yellow went down. Uh, no reds. Oh wait, no, just one yellow. Um, I can't count. Yeah. That's why I'm here. One, two, three, four. Yep, seven. But it's one of those breaks where it's so it's huge, and uh, they've all kind of clustered together. Some of them are cushions. Yeah. You wouldn't be seeing this getting Red. taken out anytime soon. I think red's the best choice here. And that is what it's going for. Well, I mean, race, you, you, race. We, we, you can cover it, yet you can still part your own ball. That is ideal. Mm-hmm. That is ideal. Does that choose the size? It does make it sick. Yeah. Uh, for the people at home, uh, Gav has taken reds, and that means that he now has coverage of the top right bag. Um, as in the right the bag best. by the bulk line. Mm. Uh, oh, there is yes. a yellow shoved in behind that, and then another red behind that. 
Um, okay, let's control this frame. There's so we identify problem balls, that has two problem balls at the moment. There's a yellow which is over the top red, which is covering the bag, and the yellow. Do you want me to take pictures in the because I've got quite a bit of data left? Uh, yeah, go ahead. On the final step page. Right yeah, because I've still got about 1.2 gigabytes left. Oh, that's funny. Rob's, Rob, um, Robert's going to be uploading okay. pictures of the table for us. Yeah. So I get them maybe at the start of the start of the break and then, yeah, that'd be and then like somewhere towards the end. Yeah. That's a good idea. And things have happened. Gav has not turned that yellow on the cushion, which was um, it was the yellow that was blocked by the top right end. Red. Yeah, yeah, sorry, cushion says so that there's two paint. yellows on a cushion. And then he only has some balls left on the cushion. We could always just, just stand up and take a picture of the extra table. Yeah. That's a cushion off. So that just plays the yellow that was on the cushion, but and screws it back a bit, and leaves it a little option uh, to get rid of that red that is covering the top right of the bag. I think there's an easy snooker. But um, he has to get it perfect because of this yellow here. Otherwise, we're going to get a coverage. Yeah. Oh. Your first coverage of GD fun. First intentional coverage, anyway. Yes. Alright, yeah. seconds. What were you talking to? Oh, he's opening to the opposite corner. That was for pop. That's a pretty decent shot. That's for pop. Takes the coverage for white. I mean, the white could be better. It's not like. He just needs to get here and the yellow can sit in there. Basically, there are pots on there for Zach. He can put his first ball with a GD5, get that monkey off his back. And there it is, he puts it to the middle. Yeah, it gets a fantastic shot. For the hood on Zach. Now he's going to try to sort out one of these oh, problem balls. Yeah. It's this problem ball that was on the right hand cushion. And he's managed to hit off the jaw, and that is not a deal. That is now blocked off by a bunch of reds in the top middle of the table. Oh dear, he's got two good. yellows there clustered amongst Gav's reds, and the reds have control up there. He yeah. needs to just recognise where, where, where he can... If it gets fudgy, recognise where you can get fudgy back. Yeah. Well, taking the top right back there would have been a good idea. Robert, Robert. <laughs> do it from the chair. Don't go standing up to the table and doing it. I can't actually see it from you. <laughs> and, and don't have the flash on. Professional photographer Robert get involved and get takes control of the like both, both, of, like the, both of the top yeah, bands. Fine. As long as they have a gist. That's what I'm off as well. um, so Gav has the two top backs. Now, tell me, how would you sort out? So, Zach, so Gav has the top two bags, Zach has the two yellows stuck in the middle. How do you sort those out? This is difficult. Like, uh, I'm just talking about him not losing the next nice shot. I think you've got to bounce the white round here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> We know that the, um, there's one real problem ball for Gav at the moment, and it is on the top left cushion, but that gets over the plant. That's an easy plant. Yeah. Really, this could be gone. If he wants them to be. Power of positive thinking. That is. Needs a bit more. It's not bad, but it's not good. Place this right piece, you should bounce back across. Ooh, so I don't know if he's he so you could have sat on that plant and just quick C2. No, 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 no. Quick, yeah, quick that. There you go. No, it doesn't really tell us. I, I think, think he is. I think with a swerve, you can maybe get around it. A really, really nice. That was a wonderful shot. Kind of is, is he too tight to the cushion to screw back to get on the final red? That's a bit of angle needed. He's pretty straight to the red. In the middle of the table, going to the middle of the top. I think he's too close. It turns to me if you just take that one to the, to the bottom right and then get an angle off that. 
the mm -hmm. left hand side. And the people from the search were coming and wondering what the hell was going on. <laughs> He tried to play it with um, top round. Just don't fly, just got better. To be honest, if if this is if this is a mess, you know, even if this is a hit in the the black is semi tied up. Even if even if this is a hit, right? I think that you've in a GB final. That's uh, you've got to be thinking. I've got to be clear of these when I get back to the table. These have got to be gone. Yeah. I would agree with that. All the balls are in the open, guys. Like, these are gone. These are gone. Rob is no longer listening. What, what the hell, Rob? He's probably on his way. We oh. do have two elsewhere, though. We have four people listening. Hello, four listeners. We love you all. We're more popular than Star Radio. <laughs> How many listeners does Star Radio get? Uh, you actually can't find out, but um, I have had a Star Radio show for the last two and a half years, and um, my mum and dad listen, and my aunt. That's at least three. So I'm sure you get something like 50. Must do. Well, it depends on the show. Your show is top rate. No, our show is full sport radio. It used to be the wrong show. We had a wonderful promotional video for that thing. Everyone's bored and wants to Google wrong show, hashtag selfie. You will see a wonderful video of me dancing. And um, in a tartan waistcoat. They're, they're just looking to see if there's a total here. It's very tight. Yeah, there's one discussion going over this. Time is off. Um, I think it the is. extra white ball has been out. It's trying to determine it. Um, I mean, from my initial angle, I don't think it is a total, but I, think, I don't I'm, think it is I'm, either. I'm looking in their class. And is it, it's mm. total has been called. Pretty close call, and where has that gone? I don't know where he is. To the bar. Oh, he's over to the right, by the bar, probably where everyone wants to be. To like, would you, even if it wasn't a total, yeah, would you want to, would you want to hit? Yeah, or are you wearing a cuff cushion anyway? I so feel you just got to try and leave that white as close to the top bag as possible, uh, as close to the top cushion as possible. Just make the queue in as awkward for Zach to try and prevent him clearing these out. I think if you leave him on the top cushion, then uh, yeah. it makes the first ball the hardest. No, we haven't seen the Zach's long potting yet, so he's gone off the cushion. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, so Gav just. Uh, I, 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 right, it was unbelievable. We determined the total and he just knocked it off a cushion, went into the red, put it into the middle bag, and now he's on the black. And now he's on the black. How do we change the colour? Thank you, Harbinger of Doom, I agree. We need to change the colour. As a professional myself, I feel like sometimes people spend too much time worrying about whether it's a tool. Yeah, well, he, in the end, he, I mean, I completely agree, but he also uh, gets on the black now. Yep. Um, but he did not bang it, he then just delicately potted it off the cushion into the middle back. I think it goes in. I don't think this goes. Don't matter why. He went for it. <laughs> That's a good finish. That was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I, I don't think I saw that. Um, the minute he put that right inside and then pretty much posted himself behind that ball, um, I did not see the double off the cushion into the middle bag. So then, finally cut the black. As far as as far as that show went, like all of we were just now. As far as as far as that show went, like you could play it in such a way where it was a possibility and still send the white at the top. I think that's safety, safety in mind. Safety in mind. Right? Right. If you get the bonus, you get the bonus, and then the black's on, and you have a shot at it. That, that is fair enough. And uh, Andy's just shown up. Patrick's just shown up. He's got his Andy is on. Patrick. Oh, Patrick, we're matching. Looking yes. swag. Um, I've been a final this year, as you view, Freddie. Uh, as have I. I mean, I am. Uh, I don't want to brag, but I am now the most decorated DD player of all time. How many finals do you mean? Uh, three. three. It's my third final. Have you won any? I won one. So I won't feel bad when I win. Oh, that is a bold, <laughs> a bold claim. Um, I had Patrick messaging me last night as well, saying, "Are you ready to lose?" And I said, "I'm not going to reply. I'm just going to screenshot that." 
<laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to my DD final. I think yeah, it's going yeah, to be good. Really and I think it's going to be great for you to be part of that finals day, which you have lovingly created. Oh my god, yeah. And we need to see this. Break. Oh, that breaks. He has only potted one ball in his final so And that's far. two. And that is two. Here he goes. And two. Let's have a quick around the two. Reds are very, very sloppy. They're all out in the oh, open. Yeah, you one has a coverage down bottom left. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. There's two yellows, which are absolutely screwed over on the right hand side. This will give Zach a chance to just pop balls. Be free. Get his hand on the table. Really important. Two frames down. Mm -hmm. you, you want to get in here now. India, things are about to get better. Two nil is nothing. Three nil is an away. It is. But the first away, you, you just don't know. I was watching a darts the other week. It was the um, Grand Slam final. It was Phil Taylor against Michael Van Gerwen. All right. And Phil Taylor came out of blocks like you wouldn't even know he's in his 50s. Absolutely dominating the boy. And um, I think he went. He had a dart to go 8 3 up. Mm -hmm. And then he missed it, and then suddenly it's 7 4, and then Van Gogh just went on a streak. So as much of a difference as these things can make. position here. He is, but at least he's quite balls, just building up the confidence. Gavis looks in control in those last two frames. I think Zach has been very edgy. Behind his uh, confident yeah, persona so is a confident person who just couldn't pop balls. Both, both, time, both times you had the chance to snooker. Well, frame two, you know, you can't complain about that. Frame one, you definitely had the chance to snooker and say you're never getting on the ball again. I'm not going to win. This is cover. Yeah, that's fair. And he goes for the double. Oh, and that's a great shot. That is worth saying. That's he is doubled the red off the side and knocked the yellow closer to his coverage. I think that's a decent shot. I think that's a decent shot. I don't think Gav would have any hesitation in trying to just put that, get rid of that red coverage down the bottom left. Uh, yeah. I th mm, well. I think those reds are far from gone with two. Mm -hmm. Just that there's a red which is kind of connected to two yellows on the right bottom cushion. And um, the red still cuts from certain angles. It does, but it's just a bit inconvenient, you know. <laughs> it's not ideal. Goddamn inconvenience. <laughs> oh, Andy has turned on. Andy I thought you know. called Patrick Andy and no, got confused. No, no, no. Andy, 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 Andy is here. Yeah, yeah I know. I know people. <laughs> Patrick just laughed at that, which makes me think. Commentary could be a bit loud. But oh, Gav has just attempted to double and put his ball in the middle of the bottom reel. This is now Zach's chance to go. What's interesting is um, the social club table is a lot faster than the union tables, a lot better quality, and the balls that you've got are the lightning. lightning fast. So there'll be a few of these shots today where the pace is essential and just isn't judged. Yeah, who can get a feel first? We're going to find that later. <laughs> What do you think, Freddie? Drop this one in, try and get that down the line. Or is he going to screw back for this? We're going to find out. And he just wants to top it forward, get to the, the drop pop. down the line. He's going to go for the cut and he's straight in it. I think you, you, you drop this dead weight and you hope it will. If it hangs, the weight should be good enough to knock mm. this right out. I think a lot of my pull is based on hype. And now I'm done. Now I'm done. Yeah. So the red is it's kind of it's too. kind of covering the bottom right leg, oh. but it's pretty it's pretty out there. Is that a touching ball? I think it is. Yeah. Ooh, which one? Outrageous. Well, as you can another. see, the, the yellow passes. It does, but. Okay. Doesn't leave him much, that's a good shot from mm -hmm. Gavin. Well, that does leave him with two yellows on the head. He should be able to knock a red out. That'll do. No, oh, oh, yeah. easy left the yellow. Easy left the yellow. Right, here we go then. Gavis, honey, iron it up. Gets it. That's a good shot. I would be, I would be, I'd be tempted to deliberate this in. Yeah, because you've still got the, so Gavin's taking coverage at the bottom right, Zephyr's got coverage at the bottom left. 
that gav crucially has two yellows on the right hand cushion which are pretty much screwed it would you know, be blocked by the red if you played two, it deliberate even with two unless he has some amazing play result mm -hmm. anytime soon i think he's playing it i don't think he is well, he's tried to get him out okay that's another way of doing it I just think you can't, I just think that the type of player Gav is, you can't let him get a foothold. <laughs> you, 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 you force him to go for these these tempters and then you clear, because I'm not sure. We'll see. So I get, uh, Zach now has two reds, kind of in the middle section of the table, plus the red covering on the bottom left. Um, Only covering one ball, however. Gav is now looking towards... Sorting out these yellows on his cushion, and that's a good shot right there. He's, he's um, slowly yeah. developed them. <coughs> slowly developed is, I think the keyword is slowly. I think it's a toy as well. No, I believe it is. It is a toy. It is. Great shot by Dave. He's going to force this red to end up. You see, this is why I think you played deliberate. Now, with one shot, Gav has gotten a snooker and freed up his balls to play a plant. And yeah. I think that's why you take it, because. He wasn't going to finish with two. You take it. And now, now it's tricky. Now this is tricky. He's forced to move that to put his red towards Gav's coverage. Gav now gets his yellow away from Zach's coverage, and now Zach's coverage is pretty much mm -hmm. meaningless unless it just covers a pocket for the black. He can still play the deliberate, it's not too late. I don't think it's too late at all. It's a long one, but I think he's looking at the middle. Where is he gonna go though? No one knows. <laughs> Not even Hawkeye can help us here. You know, I looked into Hawkeye. I actually did. Do you know I've actually cost to license it? To license it, um couple grand. No, ten grand. No, 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 just no, use no, no, not even the cameras or something. No, just, no. just the software at ten grand. One day, Fleming. Oh man! I don't By the time you graduate, we'll we'll have the money in the portfolio fund. <laughs> Some pocket from all out. You know, I'm just happy if I get my forty quid back for this prospect screen. <laughs> like. Just increase the pool sort membership next year. Put it up by about ten of the pool sort membership. Instead of three quid, can you imagine how much money we'd have? We'd have more than we have now. Prayer, but we've got everyone charge more. The system works. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I, I would, I would, I would pay ten quid for the society, but I'm not sure new members would. I think um, that is a fair point. Gaps yeah. now just kind of slowly put his yellows into the middle of the table, knowing that he's going to be hard pushed to. Yeah. Finish. He's only left him this red up top. And I mean, it covers sore of, but no real benefit to it. No. And he knocks it seven, out there. Seven, seven. And he takes the coverage. Yeah, okay. That's probably the best result. But these yellows now suddenly look pretty open. You wouldn't call any of them problem balls. Right, we got to depend on the shot here because if that gets more opportunity to look a bit out. Alarm bells are ringing. Alarm bells. Alarm bells. Alarm bells. Have you ever heard that Tim Vaughn song? No. You know Tim Vaughn, a comedian? He's one line. He did a, a song called Alarm Bells. It's pretty pretty good. I think the song is funny. ringing a bell. Hmm. <laughs> that joke is ringing alarm bells. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm having a great time. I'm going to listen back to this in five years ago. What the hell was I thinking? That little work that Kev did to release those yellows. Accidentally de developed back to the side. Or de developed. Anti development. But, again, it's fine because Zach still has that red down mm. in the bottom right. The power play. Power play. Left a B team battle in the You ever watch Power Snooker? No, oh no. Is that the Premier League? Let's know the Premier no, League, Snoop. Yeah, the, the, the Power League, um, 
I think right, at so one point in the game you could have a power play which was one minute or two minutes of double score. Also, in power snooker, if you pop any ball from behind the ball coin, it's double points. Mm. That's pretty cool. I mean, you can tell how successful it was. It was on ITV4. Still better than Channel 5. Uh, that's gone pretty unluckily for Gav there. He's trying to develop a few balls and he's kind of pushed one out and put one in. It's like net zero. Again, the, I think the deliver is pretty good. You control both button bags. You can We've send the white up the table. <laughs> We've been calling it for the last Put it in just 10 minutes. minutes. Try and get a bit of screw back and just try and send the white back up. Not, not like that angle, that's terrible. He's, he's, uh, he's certainly having a think about what this deliberate's type there. Like. He's only got three balls over a bag. Again, if he's stronger with those yellows. The only way he can sort those yellow is by using that bomb right back. Yeah. Yeah, he's just trying to get it out. It's the B team blammo. B team blammo, and it's gone exactly where it started. <laughs> The red has ended up pretty much where it started, even though it's bamboed at the length of the table. Um, it's also released one of Gav's yellows, so all in all, it's not been ideal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gav is now licking his lips, these could be gone. I've, I've played a couple of times oh, in the GDs now. Oh. He's pushed that yellow, but it's gone for the middle configuration. I've played Gav in a couple of GDs now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I have a decent record, and uh, every frame I played, I deliberate like I've been describing here the first chance I got. Yeah. It usually works out fairly well. Wow, that was going horrendously. Sorry, just to describe that shot, Zach tried to get he got rid of the coverage at the top to try and work his way around the angles of the white. He has developed I the think the was trouble. There. Oh, Freddy, I think the double was there. No, I think he's gonna go for it. He's got to. Oh, he's gone it's through. beautiful. And now it's out in the open of the middle of the table. Oh, but now Gav is pressure to finish. So what I was going to say was that Zach managed to develop Gav's last trouble ball and put it right over a bag um, in the bottom right. And so these, with a bit of love and care, could be gone now. But it's question times all around because Zach has one red ball covering and another red ball out in the open at the top end of the table. So you expect scores to happen. Yeah, what you're saying about uh, playing Gav, I want to play Gav once, and it was in my GD second semester first year. Anyway, another one of my um, first round exits in the GD, mm -hmm. uh, it makes five of them now. But um, I lost 3-1 to Gav, and I played okay. Um, I had one 50 minute frame of him, um, which I could, when I look back I could never have won it, because I just, he had the bear completely taken. But that's what Gav does to Gav grinds you down and he teaches you things as well. Zach is going to learn a lot from this match where he wins it or he loses it. Um, and I think at the moment he is learning. It hasn't been a very strategical game. In fact, it's been pretty open. Even then, I guess. No, I think, I think I, uh, it's weird because you can say that um, you can say that a tight game is very tactical, but I think almost in frames like these, it's even more tactical because in the end of the day you maybe only have one shot to really to turn the tide. So like this this puts me from a losing to a winning position. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, there's a difference between tactical and time. Right, this should be a, a fairly standard clearance. Um, two yellows at the opposite diagonal corners, uh, corners, and the black ball is essentially on the spot. Here's one coverage in the red, but you know, there's still for my pockets on the table. Yes, sir. Uh... Did a good job with that, leave yourself a bit of angles, white right around. Yeah, I think he'd be taking this to the middle ideally, and if he ever hits at the corner. I think it'll end up on the right, off two cushions. Mm. Let's get two. Basically, you've got the key here to put it in. There's six pockets on a table. Ooh, that's a miss I didn't expect. Okay, Zach it is. Uh, Gav has left it in the bottom right bag, and if Zach wants a frame, Fleming is right. Got to clear these up now. These are tricky. I hate balls in the bag. It's so hard to get pace and angle. There's 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. he's got to get rid of this bottom left bag ball, and then there's one open in the top middle. What is that? Can you get on the board, sir? 3 0 or 2 1, like Flash said earlier, there's a huge difference. And that needs to slide or bounce higher. He's left a pretty shitey angle. I feel it doubles. Yeah. It wouldn't leave him good on the bike. I think it's perfect for scene 2. I think it uh, doubles. So Zach has gone just past parallel for this uh, red ball if, you, if you double, you're not putting the bike in the corner. Yeah, exactly. But there isn't really a sneak around. Yeah, I mean, I trust to get up to get that off the cush. I'd be tempted to maybe just put the red down towards that yellow and just make things awkward, but that, that, that wouldn't really benefit anyone. You know me, I'd go for the cut. <laughs> Zaid, can I get a, a, a thumbs up for the power cut? Goes for the double. Goes for the treble. Oh, comes out of bag. And he ended up playing your shot. And ended up playing my shot. The red is now more towards that yellow. And it's going to kind of screw up the angle, Gav gets a little life because the angle he wanted to come off that yellow is now blocked by that red. Zach, you crafty fucker. Uh, Zach didn't end up doing the power cut, no, but he I was going. wanting the power cut to happen. He ended up going for the power treble. I am all the social media box. <laughs> Sad face we've from the We've got the chat from the radio going up on the screen. So I mean, it's just described as brother Jack how uh, finals day is working at the moment. Jack has got his iron brew. He's not even on the strombo yet. Gav just taps in that yellow, leaves it just off the cushion. Um, okay, that's the question. Not the easiest bike you're ever going to make, but not the worst. He's just going to make it to the middle left bag from the bottom right pocket. Mm, decent cue. Uh, he's easy and comfortable. But that red is. Not really. Awesome. Let's give a question. Guess it. Hey. And eventually, Gav clears up that frame. It's now 3 0. 3 0. Drips it up. Oh, Freddy disappeared off the screen. <laughs> I, think, I think Zach could have had a, a good snooker with Mr. Snooker. Thank you for continuing to take the pictures wrong. Yeah, I take the who's the breaking, how the break went, and occasional shots in between. Ah, that's good. And I'm trying, I'm gonna start updating the score every time I post the break. Cool. Yeah, that's a good idea as well. Because you want to forget people can't really see the score. So I've got. Oh no, that's just Meg pointed it out. Oh right, of course. I mean. There's a, there's a chat box here, but I think I need another screen and some more data to do that. Alright, we're getting ready to break here. Frame 4, Zach really needs to win this one. So I believe Zach has gone for a bathroom break. Are you ready, Patrick? I'm loving it, yes. They're going for a drink break. Let's go for a drinks break. Um, uh, I'm just going to check my ringing phone. Robert, do you want to Andy, head into the box Andy, you do me a huge favour. Really. I'm a massive right, scan. Tom, I'm going to be back. Can you get me a packet of scampi fries? I'm exactly the best radio voice. Scampi fries. Yep. That was... Uh, sorry, I, I, I nearly murdered you. Uh, Zach, do you want... Uh, I feel all alone here. I knew we wanted to take right, we're getting ready to break. 3 0. Alright, getting ready to break. 3 0, and Gav to break. Sorry, Zade. Just, just put this on your phone and plug your headphones in. They won't know you're listening. Zach is yelling. Zach is noticeably sped up here. It's a tactic. It's to get in a rhythm. We'll see. I think he needs, he needs to start thinking harder, not going quicker. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, this is gonna sound. The, the mic can actually pick up this rustle now. Yeah. I'm gonna have to open it up. Alright, so. 
I did not watch that. I'm uh, guessing it's that boat. Bert has just sent out the pool so Kima. Well done, Bert. It's time for finals day. <laughs> just in time. We're only an hour into it. Um, What's he going to say? Zach started playing really, really fast there. Yeah, it's just really fast. Really I don't think Gav is probably slow. I think that Zach is just trying to make something happen sooner or later. I think that that was outrageous, by the way. Zach Gav only plays slow, but he's certainly always. Bert did not send that email. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it takes time to get all the way to you, Heather. I'm guessing it's Heather, I'm not totally sure. Sage left us as lunch oh, breaks sorry, over. Sorry, Heather. I didn't realise. Oh. Oh, um, Robert, have we been doing updates on the page? Do I need to put in the score thing? Uh, I've been putting pictures of the break and okay. a few shots in between and then updating the score as I go along. Okay, all right. Perfect, thank you. It's on the finals page. I will not check. This uh, Gav's got a coverage in the corner here, but his coverage still does pull. Because I just, I was just posting Gavin was the break and then mm-hmm. pictures of the break. That's what was underneath, I think. It should have worked like that. Robert knows. And that is how you get rid of coverage. And he's left a pretty, pretty good white as well. There we go, Zach. Sometimes you need a bit the, of luck. He needs to take the initiative. He does. He needs to grab this branch by the balls and just squeeze. <laughs> but at the moment, it's the other way around, sadly. Um, well, not really sadly, a Gavin's played well. And um, but no one wants to see a whitewash. I don't know, nothing we're yeah. just wanting his like to the, um, do something. No, my um, I mean, I, I, I'm essentially a, a fossil. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think, from what I know, the record score was between Craig. Seen an eight and one. Derek. Is there an eight one? I think Craig and Derek was eight one. Okay. There's That's been fun. a in the twenty in two th- thousand. Thank you. Okay. In around two thousand and six, Derek surprisingly lost his eight um, five, and then the next semester beat him eight two in the same final. Don't anger the dish. Dish dosh bosh. Rack rack smash slurp repeat. That's so hard to say. But if you're listening, that was for you. Okay, um, uh, importantly, Zach has finally clued in and has got coverages. I don't know if that was intentional, I think it's going for a pot. And I think that's what you just said, finally clued in. Zach, if he wants to win this game, he's going to give in and he's going to just start taking coverage and start playing safety. Otherwise, this is going to keep on happening. Yeah. Would you not agree? He. Zach reminds me sometimes of how I was in my first semester before I learnt fudge. I really hated it, and I don't think it was Paul, but if you want to compete in these events, I mean, to be fair, it's in the final of the thing, but sometimes it's more than a potting right. competition. I mean, there, there's the stylistic choice of not playing Gav's game, but I think that... If it's if you're three nil down, you've got to start. You've got to play tidy. Yeah. Right, in the meantime, uh, Gav has potted one of uh, his ex yellows. He's given him two, right, his ex made a pot. And he's got two yellows left on the table. He's left one in the top bag. These could still be gone. He's on his second visit. Makes that, comes down, he's got his top bottom bag. All right, things could happen. This is, very fast. this is how you win. You get two, then you win. Right, that's so a great pot. pot. That's one for it. He's going to fill it all. He's going to fill it pretty close. Exactly. He's now straight on the back to the middle. And this could be things like that. Guess it. Yes. Three. Yeah, one. Three. Then. There you go. That was just a, final begins. That was a decent clearance. And it wasn't because of... Well, I'll tell you, it was because of the coverage. He ended up getting two because of the coverage that he inadvertently made. Surely so that's got to teach him a lesson there. It's got to teach him a lesson there. Even, 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 at that, even at that level, it's like... And then he won. Yeah. 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 That was, an, that was an unforced yeah, error into a win, but you know, it's not that hard to force an error to get a win. Yeah. Yeah, Alright, right. guys, frame five. 
uh, Zach to break. Okay. I'm gonna stay silent for a little bit because I need to respond to this because I'm very popular. And that is dry. It's a, it, you can't call it a Martin, but it's yeah. certainly a, a kind of Christmas tree. It's congested. Oh, it's like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Tell you what, mate. You just that's covered. You just just put it right in because the, the, the longer this gets left, the longer you wait to just put it right in, the stronger position you know, it's going to be in. Just put it in. Like that's covered. Just put it in. Just listen to Fleming. Put it in. Put it in. In the middle of the table, I don't like it. Are you going to give the offer them a break at any point? Yeah, I'm going to do it. So if it's first away, it's 15 frames maximum. So after five, so after this one, I would say there's a break if they want it, and then after the next five. Is that, is that, oh, that's an important from Freddy. Yep. So he's going on. played his first deliberate foul and put a ball in. I'd say it's one shot to he's it. He's learning. He's, he's got the idea. I think he's slowly learning. Yeah. He's, he's figuring it out. Throw the man in the cauldron and he either burns or... Actually, no, no, he just burned. Um, I need a better analogy. Um, um, throw a man in the deep end of the swimming pool and if he um, survives, then he's a good swimmer. Unless he's a witch. Unless or he's a witch or a wizard. Or a wizard. Yeah. I don't know about wizards and swimming pools, but... Um, Basically, if you throw someone in the deep end, they either die or they survive and become really good at swimming. And throw a moment, student into honours, he drowns a bit of entry learns how to dog paddle. And that's certainly how I feel at my moment. Here comes a red to the bottom bag, and he makes it. I didn't want that to try. I wonder if there's a way of kind of extracting the reds from this kind of uh, vortex in the middle of the table. I think there is. I think there is. Uh, he's looking at that to the middle. I mean, I think yeah. this goes, I mean, that goes there and there. Yeah. That's his biggest problem. There's a red in the middle of the table. It goes to the top right and middle right there. So, um, he's going to have to do a bit of work in the bottom left if he wants to get to it, I think. Yeah, there you go. No, he's sorting it out there. He's looking at getting through to the angle mm -hmm. of that middle red right now. I'll be able to pop the thing, but... Oh, really? oh, I can. Oh my god, he's done it! Unbelievable! Right, um, right, this changes things. He's got a plan and he's got free license to put that red anywhere. Well, basically, anywhere in the open is good. One of the more subtle reasons for wanting to move this red, potentially develop it, say, to this region here, mm. is that currently you can draw a line through here and say, right, these are all Gav's balls, which means. While these reds are here, is that kind of this box to aim for to snooker? But by putting a red over there, you eliminate that box. I completely agree. Yeah, it's kind of He's trying to develop. I don't think it goes anywhere currently. I'll just play off that table. It's like this red could go into the middle left bag, and once he puts it into the bottom left, I think the next shot is crucial. Oh, he's looking at the cut, isn't he? No, he's looking at the position. 
Not sure his bottom left bag coverage that he's got left going. It could be over in 30 seconds. The real question is, will my heart top over here before the end of finals day? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. It'll over here with the hot action that we give it. Oh, man, he's away. Oh, oh, he can't see it. He's I think he can. I think he can. I see think he's it. huge. Oh, it's a pocket. <laughs> Play. Of course, it's a pocket, Adam. He played, um... He played the right shot there, maybe a bit too hard, but he's been rewarded for it. You know, I think that was where he went to play, because now he's going to be low on the block. He'll be here for the block. This way. The other way he wasn't. Look at that. The, the other way he was never going to be on the pass, but I think he played that exactly right. Yeah. Let me change the colour. That's so important. And this for 4 one. There you go, it's done. Um, that's been five frames if you want to break. We can yeah, break. Well, yeah, maybe just like five, ten Cheers. minutes, and then yeah, come back to it. Yeah, yeah, five minutes. Five minutes. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my voice. <laughs> I'm gonna mute the mic for five minutes, guys, so I can eat my crisps and not sound like a moron.
Well, hi Rob. I see you've just joined us back. We're on a we're on a five minute break, so just meeting the camera so everyone can eat their crisps. This mic is so good that it picks up crisps from blooming miles away. We're back. Hey, I'm, I'm tournament director. You listen to me. You bow down to me. We've got a we've got a view of ourselves. So it turns out the boys don't Thingy respect. Robert, <laughs> hey Chris, you're right. Hey Chris, Chris Fleming's just shown up. This this guy's brother. And um, yeah, great. Right. Right. Okay, Freddie. I think I think Zach's really got to win this one. I think if Zach wants to win, he's got to win seven more frames. Before, before, and I, as, as, as Strathclyde, the eminent mathematicians that they are, taught us, uh, well, as, as, as is going to be the case in this game, seven is not eight. You do not win the game four. until you get to eight. Four is not eight. Uh, Rob, it's four. Right, it's, Neither of which is that eight. Is right. four, four is not eight. Thank you, Strathclyde. All right, so the, it, for the story who, for people who do not know, um, Strathclyde, in a thing of support, uh, nine ball bucks. Um, it was the first five games. So I got to four, and they said four is not five. You still got a chance. And I was like, oh, with like maths like that, you could like do, do a degree in it. And the guy was like, uh, that is my degree. <laughs> four is not five is what they teach him at Strathclyde. Um, here they teach you that seven is not eight. That is the difference between the four is not five is what they teach them in their honors, so they know when to graduate. Yeah. And again, it is breaking. We've had five frames, or a third of the way through the final. In theory. That's a massive break, but it's tied up. Oh, it's one of those where it's huge, but it all just comes back together like a black hole. That is such a clusterfuck on the middle right of the table. Hmm. I don't really know what's ideal here, but it's. Let's look at the side camera. Oh dear, it doesn't look better there. You know, like sometimes you get those um, scatter graphs and they have loads of points just plotted around each other. Yeah, that's what this is like. It's like a really congested scatter graph. You like, know when one of those contemporary artists gets some tins of point paint and just like throw it, it at a board? It is a Jackson Pollock. Pollock. Art. It is a Jackson Pollock design. This just shows it's not art, it's just a mess. <laughs> I completely agree. Although I would argue that Jackson Pollock is probably a decent artist. Yeah, probably. I did GCSE art, I should know. I did a few Jackson Pollocks in my time. That's not Cockney rhyming slang. That is just a thing. Uh, I believe Gam's yellow. He is yellow. He took that point. And there's a pretty good lead with that red as well. Five mm -hmm. ones shipped off. I think he's got to get a four or two here. But you know, don't even think of a score. You oh, could only even, play yeah. one frame at a time. I don't even think it's a score it's thing. I think even if Zach was six one seven one now, I don't think he'd mind. But he's just got to start playing like he's in the GD final. Yeah, this isn't a Tuesday night. This is this isn't one frame a match pool. This is it's not when it stays on. It's when it takes off. That's like the single greatest line I've ever heard. It's just. There's too much of that. It's, it's, a, it's aggression beyond aggression in the world. Like there's trying to clear up a table and then there's trying to pop balls. And he's putting himself in this trouble. Where is he going to go with it first? Do you know you do on a, a, a golf green, Freddy? You you leave it in a better state. You find in the pitch marks. Yeah, when you right play pool and you know you're not going to clear it. That's the first thing you go to the table. My first thought when I go to is, yeah. am I going to try and clear? If the answer is no. How am I going to leave it in a better state than I find it for myself? Yeah, that is very, very true. And, and neither of those things have happened. I don't think... Um, I, I think that's exactly how you should think about your pool matches, and I don't think that is how Zach is thinking at the moment. I think that's how Gav is thinking, and that's why he's falling up. Yeah. He's, he's never left the table in a worse position, except when he's, you know, fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> It kind of goes without saying, really. Like, he does really well when he doesn't. Fuck it. <laughs> Next stop, the BBC. Get John Virgo saying, there's six pockets on a table. That bot went in, didn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ronnie put that in. Yeah, he's just picking up the pieces. Zach has got three problem balls. There's two just stuck together, there's one on a line. 
All of Gareth's balls go yet again. Gareth is just picking them off one by one. Yeah. That's me clicking my fingers. Yeah, oh, so I might go pick that up. Yeah, I will. Pick up my breathing. Oh, that's bright. Okay, takes coverage, but there's uh, one to the middle is that can try and extract some gold from this. Gold! <laughs> and now Zach is doing what Zach does best to get him to over here. Hot and bold, but he hasn't really got anywhere else to go. Unless he can try and screw and he needs to develop those two. He's got three problem balls left. He's, he's got, got one that's on a cushion, he's, he's got, got two which are trusted. He's got a cup, I don't think there's any... He's got a cup, but what can you do with that? Try and screw it, develop? I mean, you can you can cut it and just hope, or you can try and, like... That's terrible. This is it, but this is a problem that Zach's having at the moment. He's just not thinking it through. He's trying to pop balls and send out... He's trying to pop balls and send out a statement. You know what? Uh, so I'm pretty lucky. Right, so Zach has pointed the white there, but he's also moved a yellow onto one of his reds and moved a black pretty much on the cushion. Maybe it just about goes into the middle left bag. Um, it's gone pretty well for a foul. But he just needs to start thinking ahead a little bit. <coughs> I think one of the, the, the hallmarks of a really high quality pool is um, how early you get your advantage before you win so like it, it, a lot of times you can see cool people maybe they just start like they get their coverage Very at this point or something mm -hmm. right. but if you're for example playing Derek or someone super super high caliber they could get their coverage they get a super quick two then quick seven blocks on the table versus four and where pool can get difficult is if there's this mismatch between where you need your advantage to win Mm. Um, but now the guys must stand I think this is all for a snack. I mean, look, he's got, he's, he's got snookers here, he's got snookers coming out the nose. Where's my keyboard? I have no idea. I mean, it's... Oh, I put it on the chair here. Oh, you... it. Um, I mean... I don't think it's obvious snookers with the amount of with two balls that are on the cushion. 30 seconds. I think the game can still put this away. My mouse has frozen. That was so far Okay. We're in a bit now, stronger, which means that we won't be able to. Well, we can use the trackpad, but. Okay, that'll be fine then. I'm just going to change angle to see if Dad can properly see this ball. Well, this is Zach's chance. This is an absolute Zach's chance. Oh, he heard me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen then. Attention balls. Maybe, maybe, maybe it always started that way. There's a pretty um, decent development of that problem red that was up on the cushion. But he's got one which is covering the bottom of my bag at the moment. There's one left uh, bottom cushion. And then, which, well, as well as it doesn't make it, you can take coverage. And really, oh, uh, it's figured out. Right? But, um, well, as well as you could uh, get this red down there and take coverage of this bag. I think that if you, I think, I think coverage here is a paying defeat. Not bad white. Not, Not bad, bad white. Yeah. If you click on the screen, I can get rid of the. <coughs> With the audience, keep the WhatsApp going. Screw up Zach's red, so yeah. Gav has put the yellow, which was the sex oh, ball, the coverage. He can't pop the, the yellow right now, so. Well, Zach's got two balls on pockets, but he really needs to find a way to start that red, which is then covered by yellow on the bottom of the bag. Let your opponent play the hard shots. Oh, go up top right now, go up top right now. Let's go over his bottom coverage. 
No, 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 no. Kind of format, it's always a huge difference, but um, 
I mean, Zach went for it and Gav just cleared up pieces. Gav went for that clearance initially and it came from Zach's Bama. And then we're coming back down to the thing where Zach really has to tie it up. Not a fan of the rack there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know, I've, I, I've ne- every time I purely broke off I went Adam's racks, I've always heard him say white bones. <laughs> and I've got a referee just cramming all over the place. Worst referee since me. Gavin is red. Advantage. I'm just um, texting my friend from home, Dave Yang. Um, I will be back in two minutes. <laughs> it's dropped. But you still got another chance. Plenty of chances. I think this is better. Possibly get a couple of rubbish. Because there's two reds, there's a red, two yellows on the back, a yellow, and another one and no one is finishing anytime soon. Oh dear, oh dear, it covers the red. It's a little far, I'm hoping that the red is covered. Zach is yellow, he's got red, 5 1. Take care. There's another coverage. Right, here we go. Alright, things are done. Deliver, deliver it in. What? Deliver it out. Ball in. What's that? Oh, Zach's yellow. Yeah, that's right. You're yeah, yeah, no, one. you're right. Um, when you have these two lower bags, it almost gives you a license just to break this up if you want to. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Take it. That's a small shot. Well, you know what? It makes this delivery so much better. Okay, I've just tried to put that uh, right on top of his red right coverage, but it's like, mm-hmm. so it's, it's about a two, three inch distance between them. The, the, the leopard file of the yellow onto the red to cover the bag is, is there. It's there. See, nice clue. These are gone. Uh, Rob, the score is 5-1. I don't know how long ago you said uh, that. Reasonably long ago. Uh, I, 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 I've said it plenty enough. That's fair enough. Well, guys, stop messaging in the social media bit then. There's only three of you listening. Let's get a bit of chat now, shall we? I want to see who's listening. Let me find out. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, if you hit the elsewhere, that might do it. No. <sighs> we're not saved. We're not I didn't know there was two people called elsewhere. Hey, let's hear She's not listening anymore. Hi, Heather. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks, Freddy. Oh. Okay, things just happened. Res got pitted. Gav apologises. I don't think there's an apology necessary there. I no, think that's that pretty 50 50. I'm really in trouble. <clears throat> Heather was asking what his first do. How on earth doesn't she know that by now? I think um, yeah, we know Heather's very dressed up. Oh, <laughs> that is lucky. Oh, that was nearly the most glorious coverage I've ever seen, but sadly it wasn't, and it isn't. So then, Heather's very dressed up today, and I appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, I love when a bit of effort's put in. I love bit of effort. As I said in the post last night, be beautiful, but not too beautiful. You're looking very suave today, Freddie. Yeah, thank you, Sammy. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you look alright as well. <laughs> the traditional bow tie and uh, tux combination, just you can't go wrong with it. I wore this suit um, two nights ago for Christmas ball. And, um, when was the Christmas ball? Was it uh, worth all that money? You know, it, 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 it was. It was my first time King Curl, and I'd had, had a, and I just yeah, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it had everything that a good ball has, which I've been to before, and more. Um, I love the venue. 
Uh, I love mermaids, and I like Harry Potter, so you couldn't really go wrong. Do you know what I love more, Freddy? Paul, Zach making this five to improve on this game. I believe. There's um, a, I think there's a gap there. Kind of ch check on the other angle. Um, I mean, no, I think there's plenty of room enough. You could definitely. There's something drastically needs to change in the momentum of this game if we want Zach to get help. I think Gav's in total control right now. Gav knows what's going on. And that has gone. It's, okay, it's not an illegal shot, so it's 50 50. But that was um, great intention from Zach. Going for the DF. Um, and he left the one in great place as well, just because he didn't go down, but the right intention was there. So, situation. Uh, Zach pretty much has coverage of the bottom left. Gav has coverage of the bottom right. He's meant to tight out his red. I mean, there's that's that's pretty Black decent. Black flying, and Black is now on top. Pretty decent. Top, top middle. I mean, there's there's there, there's two types of gambling, isn't there? There's the there's the B team gamble, the the trying to make the harsh develop the aggressive gamble, but there's also the the safety gamble. <coughs> the, I'll put this deliberate foul and give you two, and I'm gonna gamble. That you can't win or be in a winning position. It's more of a calculated gamble. Like like a gamble, gamble. A gamble based upon the odds, whereas. Odds. Yeah. The, odds. <laughs> yeah. We haven't forgotten Freddy, by the way. Those of you who know, will get it on video. Um, oh, well, a why? game of. Oh, oh, wow. A game of odds on. Freddy, you've got to come in to the next social in cheer universe. Oh, that is right. Um, the next social that happens uh, in the second semester. I will be having to dress up as a cheerleader, and apparently I have to try and pull, but you know, like, it, it, when I'm not try, no, um, it, 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 we know that's not going to happen, but either way I'll be dressed up in a cheerleader uniform, and um, you know, I'm probably going to enjoy it. I think we're going to get Luke's cheerleader outfit, so I won't look too so girly, but um, we'll see. Think? I think that um, Zach is still screwed in this frame. Then, uh, as long as that red stays there in the bottom right hand corner. It depends what order you get, because uh, you can always get your two knockers out, it's not bad. And yeah, I think Gav is aware of the fact that Zach needs to do something special to win this frame. As long as he's got coverage of that bottom right hand bag where the yellow is pretty tight. Um, I can't see again losing his frame. Zach just needs two. If Zach gets two, he can win. I don't know how you can get it. Uh, you can get it here. Using that bottom left ball. You can get it here. It's tough. Well, even if you went down there, it would force Gav to uh, at least either take his coverage if he wants yes. to avoid him. Yeah, it was so worse than that. Not, not a bad idea for a shot. So I think he may do that. It's He's got the coverage. He's got the coverage. I mean, nothing. Well, yeah. he's not got the coverage. I don't understand the shot. Oh, hey, Glenn. Glenn's online and listening. Oh, hi, Glenn. Good to see you, sir. Why haven't you been at pool recently? I've missed. Them. Well, I haven't been recently. There's a visual window. But I was there last week and Glenn wasn't there. Yeah, I don't think many people were there last week. Just the way that they yeah. last one. Gav gets rid of red to the middle, and now there is a chance for him to put a nail in his axe You know what? You can, you can drop this in yep. and even get on the bottom left. Like, this is... Well, I'm thinking that he can take coverage of that bottom left. And if he takes coverage of that bottom left, then it's out of my friend. Not looking good. And he's going for it. No, he's probably... Can you have something? Ah. Yeah. And Freddy... Just, I'm not sure this is all what it's cracked up to be. This is tricky. Can he get straight to it? Can he swerve to it? That's my, that's my thought. I think it's time to introduce a beating gun. But yeah, I'll tell you, it's such a question. Because the way Zach is going to be left with all these yellows, they're just there for it. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You assume. I was going to have a so I've got 5-1. I don't need to give it exactly any encouragement. I'll just knock the yellow onto the red. Gives that two. That's a look. I think it's doing it. Yeah. Way too hard. Like, what's a five million? I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud that I called that shot, though. Um, Right, is that what two? You, you, these, these, these have to be the they, they have to be the winning chance. They're all over the bags. There's two, which are kind of going to be awkward, it's but they shouldn't be too awkward. I think it's a plan at the right pegs. Yeah. Just oh, a bit oh, he's going to sort them out first. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, weaves you one over the pocket to get your control. Yeah. 
yeah. dies, and that is a quick decision. Uh, He's left himself yeah. this bomb to get out of All right, so this has all come from. I can't reach. <laughs> With both frames he's covered, he's wide. Yeah, well, I think it's come more from a gav error this one oh, yeah. than uh, by a gav not doing it. Where's that line? Oh, it needs to run. He's snooking himself. Yeah. He's snooking himself behind the black with a he's yellow so over the bag. He can get the double, but it's not so ideal. That was it. to the side view. That's yeah, just a lack of concentration. Oh, this is perfect camera angle. Oh, Jesus can. <laughs> It's not even Jesus can, it's kind of Jesus can. Uh, I need uh, the I difficult, it, I couldn't do it here. As I called it earlier, it's a disciple can. It's like the side, side <laughs> thing of Jesus. Alright, he's going for the double. He's so so he's got nothing to lose. Steep. steep. <coughs> yep, steep. Oh, he's missed it. Well, he called it, he said it was steep, and he just... As he said, passing by us there, anywhere on the table, and that, and that is right. Okay, now it's two in the black. The hardest thing sometimes is two in the black. But he's made it straight to the middle and he apologises. Probably quite rightly, but it's only six one. Freddie, how many things are in the white extension? Uh, how many things are in the white My phone is already dying. Uh, we've got one space in it. Yeah, there's one space in it. Well, then you can put that in so I can still take pictures for myself. Uh, it's not going to reach. So, all that. Extension into an extension. It's not really. <laughs> extension into an extension. Ah, uh, mate, I'm not getting down there. Go on, Freddie, uh, you can do it. Yeah, it's get someone else to do it. Um, uh, could someone. Oh, yeah. Sorry, could someone just get around there and plug this into this extension? You just need to come from Because uh, I can't actually get around. I don't want to break it. Okay, this six thing. one to go. Thank you, Heather. Three more about eight. The score is 6 1. <laughs> I think. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. There's been maybe two opportunities for. I think you'd still be losing. Well, yeah, before yeah. 3. I mean, that's a century even. Yeah, and look at that. <laughs> it's another great rack. I'm now starting to think it's Adam Grant. How oh, much was that bouncing? No, was that a bouncy ball? I think Gav uh, slightly said that that one was a white ball bouncing, but that would take a pretty big bounce. There is just a good shot. All the yellows bar two are in the middle around the black with two reds. So Zach, this just could take a bit of The most important thing in the, the fudge rack is to have choice of colour. Yeah. And it's got to, as soon as it gets into fudge, I'm thinking it's Gav's advantage. Perfect shot. Perfect, perfect, perfect shot. Perfect, perfect shot. Zach takes coverage in the bottom left bag, gets rid of a problem ball and takes coverage. If you have the coverages, you get to pick up the pack. Can't complain. And now Gav has got some stuff out to do, but that's a good job. Yeah, uh, exactly he, the right shot. He now delivers fouls, puts the yellow over the uh, bottom left bag, and now Zach gets two to try and sort his reds. Which he is, is Zach or you? Maybe Zach was a superior shot. I'm hmm. Out. Out. Sorry, Heather, did you see me? I don't want this match to go on. I do really do. Yeah. It's been too quick. Yeah, good job. No, it's just about an average length. An hour and 40 minutes. That's a pretty good shot. Control of the bag. Right, oh, looks away for two seconds and this happens. Uh, developed out because he had control one of the corners. Okay. Is this second visit now? Right, he needs to get that bag proper now. Put that yellow down there, I think it's been the yellow one. That's quite very thin. Sure. I mean, even if you stuck a yellow light down onto here, and just I feel uh, I mean Zach's gonna be watching this back uh, with his girlfriend India later, and I feel that I'm just being harsh on him in some of the yeah. decisions. I mean, at the end of the day, he is in the GD final, so the boy knows how to play ball, and I've never got match again. And I've never actually um, been through the first round of the GD, so I'm not exactly qualified to make some of these judgments that I'm making. So I am now only gonna speak in positives about Zach's game. That is what I've decided. Zach can definitely do this. So a positive here is that he has less balls on the table than Gav. 
he's uh, he has good, like, Gav's coverage doesn't really do much, so I think it's actually a pretty decent position here. I think putting that red on top of that yellow was not the best idea, but it wasn't the worst idea he's had. <laughs> Dece. He's actually just got to channel his super ability if he wants to get back into it, but I think Gav is like, cool, but small. Yeah, it sure is. It's like nine ball, but small. I love nine ball. Gonna have a ball game. We're gonna be having a bit of a ten ball crash in the break. I went and got balls from you. You got the ten ball crash. Yeah, oh, got excellent. So we're gonna see how that goes. Brian seemed to do well the other week. And that's yeah, ninety five. That would have been What's mixing it with the big boys. Oh, got six listeners. What the hell? Hi guys. Du -du 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 -du. Nice to see it you. It is currently six one to Gav. Uh, and this frame is pretty 50-50. Yeah. And really, would you say the scoreline deserves to be anything different? Well, I mean, if you say, if you take your chances, I think, Zach, you know, I, I, I think before three, didn't I? I think 4-3 would be fairly reasonable if Zach did what he knows he can do. Yeah. I think good shot. Good shot. Oh, that's a <clears throat> yeah, that's not a deal. But I think he's had a tough time adjusting to balls, adjusting to the table, and I think adjusting well, it, to a long format match. <coughs> well, yeah, different. you don't play this format regularly, but I think it made a huge difference earlier. Gab had a lot more practice from him. Mm. Would I be right in saying that? Uh, I was too busy setting up everyone. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. Gab spent a lot of time practicing on the Gav's table. Gab tried to play the coverage and it's short. That's bounced. Yeah. Exactly the first to know that um, practice makes permanent and. Um, Gav's feel has been pretty spot on. There's another social club local shows up, bewildered by our snazzy state. Do we have the trophies, by the way? <laughs> That's your job. Your TD. No, huh? uh, not the GD or the DD. Where's it? Where, yeah, where are they? That is. Brian has the GED. Why didn't he bring it? Is he not brought it? I might talk to him. Oh my god. Who has the GED? Um, who won it last semester? It was Andy and Miller. Andy. Who has the GED? Miller. Miller. Uh, hey guys, guess what? We haven't got trophies for the finals day. Um, text Miller. I don't know if Miller's number. I do. Okay, right, and I'm gonna. Uh, pass my phone down, it's just sitting there. It's just sitting there. I thought you said she was sitting there. What? No, 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 you're telling me he has to. No, 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 no. So, where's the GD Grant? I'm Mr. GD. I didn't really think I'd have to mention that. I thought it was kind of an obvious, an obvious thing. Um, Grant of Zuni Hall. Hmm. There's no way well, Zach could come back, Grant, get the thing. I like, like, really want to have hand it over us. Well, we'll be having a break after the GD anyway, so... That could be a tiny... He forfeits his right to tempo for that shot. <laughs> for being... Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, Jen. Right, okay. Well, that's one, but that's not really what we right, need. We've got, the D we've got the DD cup. We've located the DD cup. <laughs> Crumbs everywhere. You know what? Why is that my fault? It's not even my fault. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Back, back to the frame. Really. Okay. Right. Well, what I'm seeing here is that yeah, there's coverage of the top two bags. But they don't cover anything. But they don't cover anything. They're not really beneficial. Uh, Zach has uh, coverage of the bottom left. Um, he has Which a red does cover open. something. But he also has the whole... He has two balls on the bottom, bottom cushion. One of them's doing nothing, and one of them is close to the right hand pocket, which could become useful in a bit. And one of Gav's yellows is kind of stuck in between the left side and the middle reds, um, and that's causing him an issue right now. 
with the, uh, with the discussions on the uh, NHS contract for junior doctors going nowhere fast. Yeah, is that right? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? I'm too tired for this. Nice little nice NHS screw. I'm, I'm appreciating that NHS pun more and more now, um, but not that much. <laughs> Thank God there's a shield. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to need um. Oh wow, well, what an outrageous shot. Oh, it's gone well. Oh, and the white goes down. This is his next chance. And it'd be handy as well if that one of your friends who actually um, go get a GD. Yes. Oh, also, uh, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. If there's a chat box on Mixer, and if you want to be immortalised on YouTube, there's a, uh, there's a social media window where you will see whatever you type, do not put swears. Yeah, or that's an just ASCII picture of anything dirty. That's just for us to say and depict. Yeah. Right, questions? We're going to go to the front here, just start it off. Nice and gentle, drop it in. He's not getting any roll of the ball. He didn't take that so high. Mm. He's shaking well, his head. Trying in, to knock it out. He's shaking his head in disbelief. But he's still got two, like, it's still a yeah. like, Even if he takes the route of knocking that right out and then putting his coverage back in, yeah. it's all it's all there. Just bide your time, you're, st you're still in there. And he's rattled. Yes. It's a difficult format, isn't it? Like, we don't play it. Mm. Sorry, I think it'll talk to you quite easily. Run. And it's a legal shot. Right, things can still happen. Do you think Grant didn't bring the GD card because he doesn't want to admit that he's going to have to give it away? I don't think Grant's that possessed about a GD card. I think it's very honourable of him to um, let someone else have a chance. <laughs> what a nice guy. Honourable. You know, I've, I've won it enough now. Let's, uh, let's give it to someone else. <coughs> Alright, well, I think this could be pretty good. I'll see. I think it's enough coverage. Yeah. But, um, Zach has reds over both bottom bags, but there's space in between them, so... Uh, opportunity like space. Alright. Nice little bucks. No for right. reference there. Shapes. Shapes. The human shape. <laughs> You don't want to say the name on YouTube just in case. Yeah, that's clever. Oh, wow. Oh, he's overhit. He's, like, he's, like, he's, he's had a few times, but he's just overhit a few of the delicate shots. Probably. It's the lightning balls. The it's lightning the lightning team. balls, yeah. Oh, sorry, Story yeah. of my love life. <laughs> lightning balls. <laughs> it, it makes oh. sense if you want it to make sense. Like if I think really hard and have a couple more points. Actually, I need another point. I was actually just going to have that. <laughs> right then, opportunity knocks. Front call 30 seconds. That pots the thing. And uh, let's see if this goes. Yeah, let's see if it's You know what, I think it's a possibility. I could have put it in there somewhere. Shot enough shape for the middle. Just screw off it to bend it out. Yeah, he doesn't like that middle. No, that's a good job. Oh, oh, oh dude. Oh, dude. Like, you want the object. Oh, it's going to take more than two to sort that out. Exactly. Zach has got total coverage now, this bottom left. And uh, Gap has two yellows kind of towards it, so questions everywhere. A bit of David Dimbleby. Does he. There is um, there is a chance to not go there. It's, it's slight, but it's there. Well, you know what we haven't had in this GD final so far? The Derek, uh, the Daniel Lever spew count. Because there hasn't been a spew yet. No. Dan, if you're listening or watching back. We know you're not. Well, yeah. actually, you might be you watching You could be back. two of the elsewheres. Well, let's assume he is. Glenn's trying to use the spring chat, but it doesn't work. You know what, Glenn? You may as well just message me, and then I'll, I'll say that... You what you said. Um, you know, I don't even need to respond to you because you just heard what I said. How cool is that? We are using multiple forms of social media like that to social media ourselves. It's wonderful. We're up to seven listeners. Maybe that was Dan joining. Zach loves our commentary box. He keeps peering in. 
shaking his head. Hates me because he ain't me. <laughs> a wry smile falls across his face. So Gangster has two to try and clean up this mess. Um, not, not looking at do it. But I don't know, I mean, would you be tempted to just yeah, take that down? Or is it too little of a question? I mean, to make it potentially so long. I don't know. I think, I think you're trying to get both there. Yeah. Oh, and if that goes safe. Mm, yes, I'm sorry. Anti Schlurp. Oh, I think it's a 50 50. No, isn't Anti Schlurp a spear? You're not sucking in, you're just lying up. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Actually, where's Henry? Henry's not even here. Oh my god, that's what's oh. going on. Oh my god. We could just be talking about Henry sitting I thought I was doing such a good job organising this day as well. I and, mean, you only uh, forgot Henry and the two trophies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nothing crucial. Just the Paul Sock beloved mascot and um, the thing that everyone's playing for. <laughs> the DD cup. Oh, yeah, the DD cup. Yeah. <coughs> Who even cares about the GD? Really? It's not got much history associated with it. It's only been going for 15 years now, since the millennium, I believe. No, it could, it could it's be. Like, it's only since 2004. Oh, is that right? Uh, hang on. Alright, death rid of the coverage, ask a question. Is that where are they? Just a nice, <coughs> a nice, a nice gentle show. You're golden. Here's the show. Okay. This is difficult. He's going to be coming into the yellow. Let's see what he can do. Bad timing for a local to walk in. Um, but if worse leads he could have had, I don't know. Absolutely. Ask an absolute question. His pockets aren't very receptive to balls coming down the line, and um, mm. that's what Gav's going to have to do if he wants to win this round now. He got pieces. <laughs> I'm uh, looking at the history of the GD at the moment. Interesting. What's under it? Just try to put a screw in it, but didn't quite get him that desired. Uh, Freddie's looking for the George Downing Cup history. I don't find the information. There she is. First George Downing Cup, 2002-2003. That was the pre-George Downing Cup era, but it was won by Richie Parker. Who would have known it? Who was that knocking the back out? Oh, oh questions. That's basically the worst they could have known. Exactly. Um, have to be gone. Yeah, so this is... You can do it. As we can. Oh, Freddy, the history's creep. This is going on now. This is a good, good shot. This is a part of history. Right? It's a good shot. This is good. Zach on the black. Come on, just nice and gentle. Steer it away. Good. And it's 6-2, and that is ideal because we need to figure out this trophy situation. Uh, Grant. Grant. Mm. Adam Grant. Do you have the GD trophy? You do? It would be funny if you didn't, yeah. Just making sure, because uh, we didn't have the DD. We will have the DD. I was thinking it would be an absolute crumb if it didn't actually have the trophies. Yeah, we don't have the... Oh, oh. You know what we should do? Uh, we'll have our comment. Oh. Thank you. Right. Right, okay, uh, sorry. We are joined in the commentary box by none other than the George Downing Cup. How are you? Uh, hello, George Downing Cup. He is glad to be, well, I'm saying he, I mean, the trophy is glad to be out of Grant's grasp and uh, to have a different, uh, you can sit it down now, to have a different owner for this year. It's going to be Zach or Gav at the moment. It's looking at Gav, but who knows? Um, I don't feel worthy to even hold it to show it to Gav. Uh, I feel worthy. Um, one day, one day. He's got time to get through the first round. Yeah, I mean, I, I held it once when I was giving it away as tournament director. If you're not a tournament director, like, it's just like, you know, yeah. someone evil going to a church. Yeah. 
But, um, so I've been looking up the uh, George Downing Cup history, and uh, this is actually, you know, I'm going to have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This is the 25th edition. It's the quarter quell. Yeah, whatever that means. Uh, it's going to be the 25th edition, and this is what they're playing for, George Downing Cup. Uh, I'm going to leave it right here as a shining beacon of hope to all those playing in the George Downing farm right now. Um, hey, here comes Miller. He has brought uh, with him the DD, DD cup, cup, which is considerably bigger, which is why that's the only one I'll try and win. Well, I mean, that's got to, that cup's got to be split between two people and not one, so you need twice as much cup to go around. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, by that theory, China would be the biggest country in the world because there's more people to split its land mass over. Right. Yep, see? <laughs> I do like the DD Cup. When I I won the inaugural DD Cup, in case you didn't know, and um, I, I did sleep with that trophy. We've been partners in the DD Cup, haven't we? We have been, Chloe. Um, it was an emotional time, I'm not going to lie. It was a Turmoil. bit of a roller coaster. Oh, wait, who's walking? Life is a roller coaster. Uh, gap is red. Um, life is a roller coaster. You just gotta ride it. Um, great words by Ronan Keaton. But sometimes it's true. Sometimes you just gotta ride the default roller coaster. We could have won that phone. Could have been. I can't believe it went on all up down, up down, up down. Oh, the outrageous, outrageous. But um, I'm gonna say it's Chris now. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's over there. Yeah. Because I was uh, then partnered, I've been pl- partners with both of Fleming's and um, having limited success in both cases. <laughs> I don't know, I think Freddy's the common denominator, not last name Fleming. Yeah. Well, that takes coverage there. There we go, the boys getting into it. Um, I don't think that could be the case because, as I've already said, I am the most decorated DD uh, player in history. This will be, today be my third final. I've won one, I've lost one. You've been in more than half the finals then. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, it's this been my third the final in the fifth edition. The fifth. Yeah. So the DD Cup, you could say, would not be the same without me. It's not going to be the same without my commentary, that's for sure. No. no. Um, and the two times that I didn't get to the final was because I was paired with Fleming. Right. At least we got. At least we got some. Me and Chris got absolutely papped out first round. Zach has covered. I think you can get another good coverage here. There's, uh, there's five balls in the center in the black, two yellows, two yeah. reds. You know what? That's not even a bad thing. Zach's got a couple of points. He's looking at trying to edge this yellow into the bottom of the bag. 6 2, you're feeling comfortable. 6 3, there's a bead of sweat on your forehead. Just one. But one, nevertheless. I'm trying to think of a good comeback story. Let me. He's ran the nine ball. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, at Nibel in uh, Telford, Adam Grant was 4 nil down. Was he 4 nil? Yes, four, he was. He, four he was 4 nil down. Yeah. Um, um, against some four is not five. Belland from another university. Oh, he was a twat. He was a bit of a twat. And um, then Grant was like, you know what, I've had enough of this. And then he won the game 5 4. And um, he made some absolutely beautiful and outrageous um, plants. Combos. Oh, combos, as uh, yeah. the Americans call it. Um, I think it's going to be deliberate here. Yeah. Nine ball. Good deliberate foul. No, it's a good deliberate foul. Good, good choice. Good choice, Kevin. I need um, to see the other one. Yeah, Grant made a comeback. Uh, another good comeback was um, last week in the 18 East Nuke match against London Lynx. Oh, where six four down. The best East Nuke experience of my life. And um, outrageous. Outrageous. All right, listeners, there's eight listeners now. There's eight listeners, guys. Nick, you're God. pleasing us. Uh, Gav's got coverage. Uh, all his balls are fairly <laughs> open, so if it uh, needs to do something. Little trivia question for the people at home. Oh, um, yeah, put it in the chat window. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you can try. Um, who is the most decorated GD player? There we go, we'll start off easy. Who is the What's most your decorated? Of Derek, uh, de- 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 yeah, de- decorated. Yeah. Um, I think the definition of most decorated is... Um, <laughs> Um, in the the, the right. most wins in a GD Cup, but how many? How many has the person with the most GD wins had? Also, who has won the most frames in um, in their GD Cup finals, but lost the most? Oh, outrageous. I think we all know the answer to that. 
I know you're listening. Uh, yeah, he's definitely listening. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Williams. No, is it? No, could it be Sam Moore? Uh, um, Sam Moore. But no, he won one. No, but you just don't count those rooms. Okay. Um, hold on, I'm counting. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, okay. We'll give you five minutes to try and get an answer I to your question. Uh, Glenn seemed to think that he couldn't get Rob, right. can you message something to see if the chat window is working for you? <laughs> message anything wrong. <laughs> And that place for is just had a bit too much place to take coverage, but now... Oh, yep, it's there. Rob, it works. Right, Perfect. Good. And now he's contemplating, um, was contemplating a DF. There is a coverage up to the top floor here. If he wants it. Does he want it? That is a question. Yeah, there's a chat. Oh, Rob has posted a box. Yeah, that's very nice. Or a miniature pool table. It's a little bit hard, but yeah, just the right idea. Sam again just hasn't got the pace in his fingers and the tips of his fingers. On a union table, that would have slowed it right up. On a union table, it would have also gone 90 degrees sideways. <laughs> Hey guys, have you figured out who the most derogated uh, GD player ever has been? I can tell you that they've also, they're also the player who reached the most finals. <laughs> the answer is Derek Dishington. He made eight GD finals and won five of them. He is the most decorated player. Apparently the emojis in Mixer are, are, are crumbs. We know what Rob, when I was young we didn't have emojis, we made them out of letters, so you know what? Cope. When I was younger, right? <laughs> when I was younger, this kind of format was my dream. When I uh, like having a commentary booth and having a TV outlet, I think uh, that that was a dream for like, sport. At one point, I wanted to be a commentator. Probably in between, when I wanted to be a train driver and a lawyer. Um, but commentator was a dream. Comedian was a dream. But I'm glad to say that today. I am living one of my dreams. I am a comedian. Right, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, come> Zach. <clears throat> That's a good shot. That's really good. There we go. Oh, Cast the coverage second time round. Do you think played that with better pace? You used to do like. I think it could do. I think it could do. I think it's an outrageous shot to attempt. <laughs> The first GD, before it was called the George Downing Cup, it was, it was a once a year thing, much more prestigious. It was won by Richie Parker against Glyn Howells. I hope I've done justice to your name. Um, Interesting <coughs> enough, it was only first to seven. 2002, 2003, first to seven, yeah, it's been a first to eight all the time. There was one where Dish won first to nine, and then it's been first to eight all the other time, so interesting the first one was first to seven. Zach now getting rid of his coverage on the top right there. wasn't covering anything left. Because I got rid of looking at the shot off the bike that oh, I looked at earlier. Outrageous. You I call outrageous it. person. Oh, he played it. Freddy, what a call. He did play it, but it just didn't quite work. That was a great call. Fleming, I want to shake your hand. What a great call. Well done, sir. Um, Thank you again to Robert Dickens who is posting up these. Yes, the thank Father's you very Day much page. to Robert for posting the pictures. So everyone can sort of understand. His it's wonderfully it. angled photos are just adding a dimension to this. Uh, That's a cheap point my phone wouldn't let my camera work. It's nice plugged in charging. Rob would like a lawyer doodle the table to let you guys know what's going on. It's not happening. No. But you know, go along. I'm just going to hug the George Dan trophy for a little bit, feel the history. There's still a good bit of posturing going on this room, though. Uh... Nice. Oh, really? I think the queer is on. He's not too far from me. The only problem is that top, uh, the one in the top cushion. He needs deep screw here. Deep, that. deep, deep, deep screw. Deep house. He has a bit of screw power in the world. Oh, that is excellent. Using the cushions, great effect that is. Let's look at the angle. Touch a class, baby, touch a class. I think this is difficult, right? 
It's too, it's, it's too straight, we know, it, but it's such a good position. It's to, to get, he's going to have to do some good, like, uh, um, left or something to get across there. We'll see. Lucas, if you're listening, it's good to hear from you, sir. You're yeah, enjoying Lucas. the live stream. Uh, we're enjoying bringing it to you. Uh, it is correct, and there will be no video, but this will be broadcast on YouTube, and you'll be able to hear our commentary along with seeing the video. Shot. Shot. That's a really good a top shot. shot he leaves himself a bit of angle, he could screw it to the middle or <clears> to <throat> the. No, to get his seas red, he's going to have to be near enough to the cushion. Let's see what he can do. He needs to get from one middle to the other side of the cushion. <coughs> I think he was going that way. He is finding a gear, and now he's just, if I was him, which I'm not, I would pop this red, I would then use this yellow as a bit of a cushion. Yeah, as a yeah, but I, I agree. Let like gravity do the rest. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, as a physicist, I've never seen Neil. Ooh, he's played that Perfect. Good shot. Yeah, there, there, and that gives you the angle. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, that one. Done. Just in time. That is no right. match point. What was that? All right, then, Glenn, I've got a bone to pick for you, right? So, uh, I'm saying you're missing the video from last year and the epic face cam. Now, can I just say to you, did you actually watch the video from last year? Because when it missed out every fifth frame, it was really annoying because you couldn't actually, the sound cut out every fifth frame. And, uh, the picture moved as if we're in like a Benny Hill film. Um, I'm not missing the video this year. I think Fleming has found a very good uh, mutual agreement as Gav reaches the hill. He is on a seventh frame. Seven is not eight, but it is pretty close. Um, Hold on, Freddie, I want a confirmation on Strath Kai. So we get David Farrell on the phone. <laughs> I will not be getting Farrell. David Farrell on the phone. Um, well, actually, your best buddies with Strath Kai now, mate. Oh, hang on. Wait, how do we get our angle? Oh, it's scene three. Scene three. Yeah, so um, you were best buddies with the Strathclyde boys now. I did go out with the Strathclyde You did go out with the Strathclyde And how was that for you? Amazing. But no Strathy, no, no party. That, that is true. Oh, <laughs> no party. No, um, the Pussycats. What a horribly no expensive thing that, that was. They do not have a GD Cup, though. They do not have a GD Cup? They do not. That's outrageous. Oh, we have the DD this Cup This is what we're going to be contesting for later. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. It's a neutral party, I just hold on to it. <laughs> <laughs> Robert is going to hold on to it. He is the Switzerland of Paul Sock right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, no strategy, no party. I completely agree. Farrell's going to get you. And um, he did get people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two older women, wasn't it? Is this appropriate? No, just Trudy's mum. Right, okay. <laughs> Trudy's mum. As Grant says, we do need to recover the facts to be able to retell that story accurately, but who cares? It's fine. Um, Trudy's mum. <laughs> I still don't know who Trudy is. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we'll find out one day, surely. Glenn is saying two boxes. Glenn, we don't have emojis. We don't have emojis. You you give a, use your words. I'll box you if you're not careful. <laughs> um... Yeah, what a great day it's been. Uh, they seem to have taken a break, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to carry on talking. Excited for our DD match. We're going to have 10 ball crash before that. We are gonna, we're going to have a break. We may play some speed pool as well, but probably 10 ball crash yeah. is about as much time as we've got. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to the DD. Um, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think the two teams that deserve to get there deserve to get there. There's been a lot of strong pairings this year, and yes. there's been, I'll tell you, GD and DD combined, more so GD, there's been a lot of shocks. There's been a lot of shots. Now, we have to say, um, I'm not allowed to talk about random draw. I'm not um, legally obliged to say anything about it. I fucking hate random draw. Yeah, it's because of this game. Um, however, the, the four seeds that I put through to the yeah, second yeah. round, none of them won a game. No, oh, two frames. None of them won a game. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, two frames from two four seeds not, is not, not ideal. Not, we all got knocked out. Um, I'd we say I did eventually, right? Yeah. Yeah. I did crumb because I did not make gather seed, and uh, as we can see, he's pretty good at pull. But uh, Grant got beat by Zach, who is a worthy finalist, who is staring me down right now, and I'm feeling very intimidated. <laughs> also, Karen makes me look like I've got a lazy eye. It's probably all the alcohol. Um, <laughs> Miller got beat by Lucas. <coughs> he got put out by Gab last night, uh, 5 0 uh, in the semi final. Um, 
Jack got beat by Matt, who got put out by Zach yesterday in the semi-final. Zach, what was that like? A 5-4 game? A 5-4 game did sound like a marathon. It was wonderful. You can tell he absolutely lost it. I'm sure India enjoyed that. She's reveling in the success. She's going to enjoy watching this back tonight. Hello, India. <laughs> Where was that? That was on one hour. <laughs> um, Actually, wait, how long is the recording? Uh, 12, 12 hours. That was it. Two hours, 10 minutes. That's my pretty face. Um, and who was the other seed? It was you, Funny. And you got put out by Luke, which was a real shame. But it's only because he's focusing on DD. Of course. DD is the one they all want to win. The GD is just a sideshow. That's why it's going first, the, the, the best to last. Yeah, that, yeah exactly. exactly. But, um, no, so it's been interesting year with shocks. Um, we've, the whole point was that the DD has had shocks as well. The, uh, uh, we're now going to watch the pool. This could be the last break of the GD card. It could, or it could not be. Thanks for The key is how is the rack going to come out here? Oh, it's bad. Well done, Grant. It's an absolute martin. It's an absolute martin. Well, you know, it only took till the 10th rack, but I think he's got it. <laughs> the dispersion on that was... Uh, <laughs> level. <laughs> uh, don't show this to your kids. And then it gets straight on the potting trial. That's a good shot. Red Bulls really in the fight. Good, good. Thank Cuba you to Adam Grant, the referee. I hope he's um, been enjoying. Yeah. Uh, it's been involved in the farms, though. And that's a cushion yeah. bounce. I've, I've yeah. seen worse cushion yeah, bounce. Yeah, absolutely. But I've, I've, seen, seen, I've, seen, I've seen better. I mean, have I seen better cushion bounce? Yeah, not really. No, that's the thing. Mm. I thought you were laughing at my joke there, but it turns out you were yawning. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting, riveting stuff. I don't know if you can have a good cushion. Well, it's, There's certainly some which are more beneficial than others, but overall the idea of a foul is probably not ideal. Um, I've got a voicemail, so I'm just going to check it. I've got a voicemail, professionalism. Mm. Yeah. We can just, all right, okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so that guy's got the coverage to the other lower corner. Okay, nothing's happening. Pretty happy. even, Nothing's pretty happy. even. Quick. So, just need to check. This is probably the doctor. Done. So. Good pop, good pop by Zan. He could have control of this for a very short way. His balls are in the open, he's got a coverage. Remember, you do have two cameras. Oh, yes, yeah, you're right. Oh, it's loose. Oh. Do you know who 07952 is? 07952890124. Don't make me mute phone numbers on YouTube. <coughs> oh, sorry, yeah. Alright, so that shot was not ideal from out there. I appreciate the attacking play, but um, it's put the black out of commission for the foreseeable future. It's, it's a posturing. Yeah. Nothing but a posturing. There's just a bit of sorting out going on here. They're trying to get the balls in place and it's doubled. Now he goes for the cut. That's an oh, the middle back coverage mm. is incredible. Six pockets on the table and now there's only five. Well, actually, no, now there's only two. Yeah, bum an egg. Well done, boys. Coverage. I think it's crucial Zach has learned this because yeah. getting a bit of coverage just gives you a footing in the game. Uh, yeah. you, you can afford to make a mistake if you've got a bit of coverage to fall back on. I think in the beginning he just didn't have anything to fall back on. That's not to mean to say you should go polar opposite and not no, try no, and clear no. things when they're on. Yeah, of course not. Got six pockets on the table. Oh wow, development everywhere, kind of. That has worked out pretty well for Gav. That, you know, that middle pocket coverage that Zach had is now meaningless. <coughs> The Zach, uh, the Zach, the black is tied up. Zach has coverage on a bottom right cushion. Uh, sorry, in the bottom right pocket. Gav has coverage on a bottom left, and Zach has coverage of the right middle. 
the rest of the balls are in the uh, lower section of the table. Zach sorts out the middle back coverage again. <laughs> Zach goes for middle back coverage. Doesn't do things mainstream, this boy. Um, but that now sorts out the back as well, so that's just helped everyone out. Stopped a world of hurt happening. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. How, how much is microphone costing? Uh, 47. That's, that's pretty decent. Sound quality is incredible. Andy's a big fan. And, yeah, Andy is a big fan. Just wait till you hear it back, Freddie. <sighs> you will hear croaks in your voice you never thought were there. I'll just lay down and. 30 seconds. Close my ears. Love the dedication. <laughs> that's uh, Rob's notifications. Uh, <laughs> wonderful stuff. Are you posting this on the event page? Yeah. Oh, good. It's loose, and he's freed up that red. I think this could be good time. Well, apart from the black. Oh, sure, some more. Yeah, this could be happening. I'll just know what happens. This guy. He could deliver it. He could deliver it in here. I think he is. I'd kill two birds two birds with one stone. Do you kill two birds with one stone? Or do you hit two birds with one stone? Kill. kill. That'll work. <laughs> kill. kill. Oh, what's the house happened here? No, just in case you didn't know what the score was. And it's now come up right across the feet. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> just a non subtle reminder. Here we go. He's the remote. He'll find a way. He just needs to trust his instincts to know. That's what he's been trying to do all game, and now he's getting an iron. He really has got nothing to lose. I don't know how he's going to get that. I just don't know. Okay, we're going to find out. Is he going to be genius, or it's going to be um, not? Genius. I think he's oh, just going to talk through. How about talking it through? Getting rid of that bottom bag now. Oh, it could be such a plan. And then you've got to close the black sky. Oh no. No, he's fucked himself. Right, okay. Apologies for the language, but um, it's, a, it's a factual term. Um, the bottom left yellow is covering that bottom left bag, and now Zach has just put his red on top of it, which was about the worst outcome he could have had from that final shot. Then. Hey, if Gav didn't go too far, you can just deliver it. We'll see. Yeah, hey, Gav can do a few things here, get rid of a few balls for us. That's it's hard to make a ball for dogs, but it's tricky. Yeah, tricky. <laughs> Development, that's very cheeky. Mm -hmm. I'm actually a bit awkward, but it's going to be yeah. fine. Touching the ball, which means he can't knock it in. Or knock it in further. Okay. But he didn't particularly want to do that. I mean, if you could knock it in and shove the red out of the way. Yeah, definitely. Help. We can. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, you know, it's not even a, it's not even a bad Wait, is this a foul snicker everywhere? I think you can see it from over that side, to be honest, I think you can see both sides. Yes, just about that. Just about <laughs> no, 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 no one wants to do that. No, and he'd leave himself nothing. He's totally swapping. Um, no one wants to win with a default. Yeah, no, I don't know. That'd be such a pull to play to finish his so role. bad. None of that, please. That's how I won my first DD. Uh, Robbie defaulted. It was a bit of a. Uh, you know what, no one cares. Um, right. Well, he may as well carry on as, as he has been. Give it a crack. Well out, well out. Sure, and he's hit. knocked over this yellow. He's had to come off the cushion. Onto the that cushion. There are questions. The thing is, are you worrying about? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not worried. I'm pretty relaxed. He can snooker. He can horsey. Yeah, there's things that can happen here. There's going to be pain. <laughs> there's a pretty good place for Zach to leave his red. There's options with right? him. Yeah. A stick and the boy is fighting. He can be fighting. He is fighting. How much does he want with And Gav is just being very coy. Oh, that's a close shot. He's trying to be. He just knows when to do the right thing. 
Yeah, just a little bit there. That's why it's 7 2 at the moment, not 5 4. Yeah, I'll be going from Lady Luck. There's a Thomas Lynch. Zach just going for the long shots. Oh no, surely not. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, I'm so glad I got that on film. Oh. <laughs> Pop the black first. Fuck you. Yeah, no. That is how you do Sure. That is how you escape a total. We've had some very total escapes. <laughs> that was amazing. Jeff had one, if you remember, in the second frame, I believe it was, he or the third frame, where um, he was totaled and he put it off the cushion and then put it right into the middle. And that has just gone up the top bag, and that is well outrageous. That was incredible. Yeah. Eye for an eye. What did you say to me as you were over that black? <laughs> Always like your chance on a straight play. Right, 7 3. There is um, another friend who played. Well done, everyone. Zach putting up a fight. He's not getting beaten 8 1 today. He's not getting beaten 8 2. It's not. Well, it's going to be 8 3. It's a large break. And it's an absolute martyr. Let's see how much over my data I am. The answer is... Lots. You know... Right, okay. Listeners. I have been broadcasting for two and a half hours now. Do you want to guess how much data I've used? Wait, I mean, what, what is a kind of ballpark for I wouldn't even know. I've only used 50 megabytes. <coughs> is that good? Yeah, that's nothing. Gav is now red. <laughs> And just to give you a big look at this table, it's all pretty, pretty open. open. And that suits both players, really. Yeah. I mean, both players are. 7 3 is an interesting scoreline because it breeds, I think, an aggressive pull. I think that if you're nearly winning but your opponent isn't close, you're going to take the first chance you can. If you really need to get a frame, you're going to take the first chance you can get. It. At the same time, I'm thinking that these, with a little bit of cue ball trying to middle, could be gone. Yeah. <coughs> Let's open, guys, whoever misses. Fleming, do you like babies? Don't look at that for a baby. Right. Focus. 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 He's got his tongue sticking out and everything. <laughs> That's a lovely little uh, stop shot there to leave Gav. He's going to sort out this uh, bottom right red. So if people um, at home, he's got one to the bottom right, he's got one to the left middle, and then one to the right middle before sorting out the black, which is pretty much on its spot. Zach's yellows are also not really in too much trouble. There's nothing directly on the cushion. Um, all kind of clustered in, in the middle area of the table, so it shouldn't... This question is going to be asked if uh, Gav misses it. But at the same time, Gavin isn't too far away. He's just not left himself the angle on this middle, one to the middle the left. So he's going to take this one to the left. Potentially. I think you can cannon it into that yellow and leave yourself the middle and then. Oh, well, maybe. We'll see. He's going to go around the angles, but uh, he's just screwed it back. He's pointed the one down to the bottom right, and now uh, he's going to have to put the one to the middle left, because that's pretty much the only one he can see. And um, he's going to work his way around and try and hope for a bit of position. I think there's more hope than judgment in this instance. Interesting queuing. Gav apologises, but he has just secured bottom left coverage, which kind of screws Zach over. Um, he went for the screw, and uh, the thing is, you can force him to take it first quite easily. What? Yeah, that's true. Right, this is where Zach needs to make use of his balls and get a couple of sneakers in, if, if possible, at any point. But I don't really know where he can get them. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's put the black over, that's very small. Cynical. He's pushed the black safe. So, even a fucking one. And he's forced Gav to take his one of the pocket. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of good results from that shot. Zach is a great grown into this game. I felt at the beginning he looked a bit lost, but he's now playing some assured pull 
Yeah. And now he's getting a bit more run of the balls. A bit more luck, and luck, as we know in pool, is oh so crucial. Mm-hmm. If you haven't got the luck going with you, then. Especially with the night ball, oh my god. Oh, yeah, tell me about it. Good shot by Gaff there. Maintaining his coverage. Yep. Not just, being, just give him the same shot. He clearly doesn't want to play the red off. We should give him the same shot. He wants to put it in eventually. Yeah. Not being, not being rushed into things. I think the presentation. Do I take this thing out with me or? Uh, no, I, I, I will turn it and put it out there and it will easily pick you yeah. up. I love this one. It looks like a... It's like a little robot. Make sure the pop is out, a bit of development as well. Things are happening. Always being played. The thing is now, when that black bought him a bit of time by putting it behind that cushion. Oh, the yeah, really sick. Sick. Oh, right. he's, getting, he's starting to play really smart. Right? Yeah, things are happening. Zach has pushed another bomb save. Spring was teetering on the edge. Yeah, no, he's. You know, this isn't. Uh, he's not really clearing these, but he's certainly. Um, he's certainly made things awkward for Gav now. This one, this frame will not be finishing soon. <coughs> There's round the angle, puts that red even more on a cushion. There is now, um, so Gav now has two reds, so uh, Zach has three yellows. Um, there is a black right near to one of these yellows, which is on the bottom left cushion. Gav has bottom left coverage and a red on the top left cushion. Mm-hmm. And Zach kind of has two more out in the open, but still towards the left side of the table. The right side of the table is redundant in this frame of mind. And that is a good shot. I don't really know. It's forced Gav to take the one up the top, and I don't think that's what Sam no, wanted. I don't think this. I mean, this could easily be two coverages. Yeah, that's not the idea. Let's go the other way. Gav does well to cue that one. Not title coverage, but um, opportunity for things to happen here, is it? So we take cue back. I don't like that black either. If I'm going to try to take that out, I think that black can move some. So that pots of ball and that's some good top spin as well. Great cue ball. That's a snooker player right there. How's he going to sort out this yellow down? How about. Mm, how about yellow on top of that red? I was going to say. I don't mind taking that. That's too little of a question. I can't think of it. I've got a double. I've got a double. I feel like he's got a ball to screw it if he wants to avoid double kicks. It's a screw. India. India, here is our bet. We're going to go for here. I hope you make it to this bit in the film. Uh, from there. Probably not on that approximate line, but you get the idea. <laughs> Bounce it off onto the wood. You all might have done. That's what I really meant. Okay, right, this is a big shot here, so I'm going to stay silent. That could have gone worse. Yeah, I could have broke my keyboard. Yeah. Okay. But he has forced Gav to take the top one yeah. first, so it makes it a bit more of a difficult uh, clear. Question time. I'll just, I'll just drop it. <coughs> <laughs> He's, he's not, he's, he's on the side, like he's not going to get the screw back he wants. Well, if you want to GD, he's two he's just shots just away. Two shots away. Two shots away. Two shots away.
So let's clarify Gav has uh, the bottom left red still to part. The black is kind of on top of it. He's got all good cue off the uh, cushion. Uh, the white is on the bottom right hand cushion. <laughs> and Zach's yellow is out in the open. Okay. And that's the proper thumb there. I think I can see it to the top. You see my camera a bit. It's part for the GD Cup. Mega Rise just in time. Now we're going to do the prize presentation. <laughs> uh, ask Freddy. Freddy, do you want me to get pictures? Do you want me to get pictures? Do you want pictures? Pictures for the page. It's fine, eh? Rob, um, Rob took a screenshot of his notification, just me spamming the page. There's plenty of room in front of the table, so you can just do it like that. You good to go? Yep, yep. Just Jack in the presentation. <laughs> <coughs> right, guys, thanks to everyone who was watching that and to everyone who was listening at home. I hope you enjoyed watching that George Downing Cup final. There was an evenly contested game, could have gone either way. But in the end, uh, our runner up uh, was Zach. Um, we haven't got a check for you yet, but we've got to get a check. So just, just come up here and shake my hands. Up. Well done. Oh. I'm sorry. Well done to the final. You had some great little scalps on the way, including uh, Adam Grant. And um, well, well done. You enjoy your final. That was the highlight. You had a great day of stay. Yeah. What would you like to say? The first time we've met. Zach Bedford, everyone. Yay. Yay. And to our deserving champion, uh, great victory 83. Uh, I think um, I made a mistake in not seeding Gav in this tournament, <laughs> and uh, I can guarantee if he plays next semester to try and defend it, he will probably be number one seed. Um, <laughs> well done, Gav. Great. Uh, cheers everyone for coming. Uh, I think this must be about 50th time lucky. <laughs> uh, I Zach, that was good. A lot of frames could have went either way. He didn't really get a rub of the green. And I, I kind of really Gav, interestingly, this is the 25th GD Cup. So there you go, it's a special one. 25th GD Cup. And I've played in 24. <laughs> 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 right, we're going to have a break. And uh, then we're going to start the, we're going to start the DD... Soon. <laughs> <laughs> set, 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 what? Four o'clock? Let, let us yeah, all have some warm ups. Like, Sorry, it's, no, it's, it's, it's 20 to 4. How about half past? Four, 50 Maybe. minutes. Yeah, for a break. Like, 50 minutes. Yeah, okay. Half okay. four is going to start. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back at half four, folks. Um, I'm going to mute the broadcast until then. Yeah, the microphone will, the microphone will pick me up from there. Um, I will be muting the broadcast. In fact, no, we'll leave you background noise. Why not? But uh, thanks for listening, everyone. We'll be back in half four for the DD Cup. Oh, wait, no. Don't go anywhere. We're going to have guest commentators for the 10 ball crash. Excellent. Right. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Guys, we want 10 ball crash commentators. Right, Robert. I got my arse on to me last time. No, I got shot towards the end, but I don't mind commentating for most of it. Right. So. <laughs> Get the Timbal crash going. Yeah, yeah, that would be the whole thing. I was like, shake that.